Hi, welcome to Web Technology. In this video, I will teach you about how to create a website design uh, where we can display various multimedia elements like image, audio, video and how to play YouTube video using iframe tag and how to display a various external resource using iframe tag and there is a one special tag called ember tag. So let us start with the demonstration. So in VS Code, we can create a new HTML program. So here to create HTML program, so we have to type HTML and we can generate the default coding by selecting this HTML file and we will be getting a basic structure of a HTML and here let's let us see how to include various uh, multimedia elements like uh, we are going to see uh, how to display an image in a web page how to play music file how to play a video and how to use iframe for embedding youtube google map and pdf document the same way we are going to see a embed tag also so first let's start with the image tag for example i have a image in my project directory called uh, pick one jpg so this image i want to display in a web page so to include that so we have to use a tag called img img tag so inside the src attribute we have to give the uh, name uh, location of the image uh, if the uh, file is in, in the same project uh, same folder we can just we can give a file name and we can also set alternate text uh, which will be displayed when the uh, when there is any error uh, while loading the image for example error message and also we can uh, configure width for example 500 and height also we can configure 300 so this uh, tag will display the image in the web page so we'll uh, execute the program run without debugging select the browser So now uh, you can see here uh, the image is displayed. So this is about how to display image. The same way we can display audio, we can play a uh, music file also. Uh, let us uh, see how to play a music file. So here uh, in my project directory I have a, a music file, mb3 file, song.mb3 here. So the, let us see how to uh, play this music file using a tag called audio tag. So we'll uh, keep it in the next after that we will just use the audio tag so you have to just type audio tag it will generate the audio tag the basic coding so inside src just we have to give the uh, name of the uh, music file to play and so to uh, control the music we need a play button pass button and the volume control so this that particular tool we need so the tool we can bring it by using a one attribute called controls so we have to use the attribute called controls so when you use controls uh, we will be getting the play button pass button volume control in the audio player so so this tag will be used for uh, playing a music file so we can save the program and we can reload the previous uh, page so when you reload here we can see the audio um, audio player is created so here uh, when i click that so it starts playing the music file and here you can hear it and whenever it is needed uh, we can pass it and we can mute it we can adjust the volume control so you'll be getting a video player audio player like this the similar way we can create a, we can display a video also so in my project directory i have a video called joomla.mb4 for example so this is a video uh, this is a video i want to place it in my website so let us see how to uh, play this video in my website. So we have to go to the uh, HTML program and in HTML program there is a tag called video tag. So using the video tag we can able to do that. So for to play a video we have to use a video tag and there is an attribute called src and in the src we can pass the location of the file. So for example joomla.mb4. So just I am going to link the uh, video file. Then uh, to control the size of the video player, we can uh, we can give width equal to 500. For example, height also we can adjust 300. 
so this width and height uh, attributes uh, is to for controlling the size of the video player so we can save the program and uh, let us see the output here so reload the page so here you can see the video and now uh, video is coming but controls are missing right so in uh, like audio player we have to use controls we have to bring the controls so there is attribute called control so we can add this controls here so that it will include the it will place the control uh, for playing the video pass the video seek the video and the seek bar you will be getting volume control you will be getting so now we are getting the control for play play button so now the video is playing we can see and modern programming steps. we can also mute uh, there is a full screen option also there we can play uh, click full screen so we will be getting a full screen option also right so the similar way we can also uh, display a video using another tag called iframe so there is a tag tag called iframe so using iframe tag we can do the same uh, kind of uh, uh, playing a multimedia files so how to create iframe so we have to use iframe and uh, there is attribute called src so where you have to link the file which you want to display in the web page and frame border if you want you can give 0 or 1 or 2 you will get a border line and we have to give the width and height so width uh, we can adjust 500 and height we can adjust 300 so let us try to play a video file in this iframe so we will just give the same uh, video file name joomla.mb4 so now we can save the program and we can see the output here now we are getting a one more video player uh, that is actually using iframe and here also we can play the video we will be getting a controls okay automatically we will be getting a control and uh, play button seek button and we are getting the mute but uh, mute the volume control option also okay so this way also we can play the video either we can use video tag or we can play we can use a iframe so here when you compare both tag iframe is actually modern uh, tag uh, most commonly used tag we can go for iframe when you compare to video tag and uh, next using iframe we can do lot uh, not only playing the video we can also display a pdf file also if you want to display a pdf file we can uh, display pdf file also for example uh, in this project directory i have a pdf file called uh, this one calendar uh, calendar.pdf so if i open uh, we will be getting a uh, pdf uh, file content so like this so this one uh, i just want to display in my website so how to do that just we have to include iframe in src we have to give the pdf uh, uh, file name so just uh, calendar.pdf and we can also control the width and height so the same width and height we can copy paste copy this and you can keep it here so and you can save this program and we have to open the browser reload the browser and here you can see the pdf document right so here we have will be getting another tools also for example download button print button and zoom in zoom out options also will be getting so so using iframe we can do more not only playing a video we can also play we can also display any external resource like pdf document and also there is one more advantage of iframe is we can play a youtube video also uh, let us try uh, let us see how to play a youtube video so to play youtube video first we have to go to youtube and uh, we have to select some video so i have selected this video i want to include my website so what we can do is after selecting opening a video in youtube so you have to go to a share there is a button called share option and click the share option and there is an option called embed so click embed option when you click embed option you will be getting a, a embed link so this is called embed link you have to select and copy using control c control c select this url and copy it and we can come back to this uh, uh, code and we can add this iframe and in the in the source section src section you have to copy this uh, url okay the it should be embed url okay youtube.com uh, the usually we won't get 
directly we won't get this embed url we will be getting another url you have to go for go to the share option and get the embed link like this and we can also add uh, this width and height for this iframe uh, youtube video also uh, after adding this width and height so now it look like this the code will be look like this so now we can save the program and we can test reload the page so now when you reload the page we are getting after pdf document now we can see that same youtube video so this one this only we are actually trying to uh, display in our website right so we can see the same video in our page also here we can will be getting a play button so we can play this Hi guys, video this is person in this OTP and we'll be also getting the seek bar play button mute button and also we'll be getting the maximize button also okay so we can also play this uh, youtube video using iframe so like this we can play youtube video using iframe so the similar way we can also embed a google map location suppose if you want to include google map location in your web page we can do that by using this iframe so for that first we need to go to maps.google.com and we can search some location for example i want to search uh, coimbatore as a place i want a link in my web page so here we can type coimbatore and we can find the first we have to find the location of the google map and once we find the location of the google map there is a uh, there is a link uh, there is a button called share option here you can see that and if when you click this uh, we will be getting a link so uh, it will open like this and here you have to use uh, there is an option called embed a map okay so when you click embed a map you will be getting a link automatically you will be getting a code also not only link you will be getting a code uh, which is a iframe code here you can see iframe src equal to that particular url and you can copy this html pro uh, code and once you copy that you can come to this our uh, program and you can wherever you want to place you can uh, place it like this so it will include all uh, additional attributes also now look at this iframe src and the google map url with the longitude and latitude po uh, position information and width height and other uh, in, uh, attributes also will be added and now we can save this program and we can test whether google map is added or not so we have to reload this page right click reload and after this youtube we have added the google map right so now we we can see uh, the google map here we can navigate and we can zoom in zoom out and we can just we can navigate also we can see all the places in the google map so uh, using iframe we can display a pdf document we can display a video file we can display you we can play a youtube video as well as google map right and there is one more tag called embed tag so using embed tag what we can do is uh, we can also play youtube video so using embed tag so now let us see how to do that so the same process we can do it using embed tag to play youtube video we can use embed and this is a youtube link just you have to copy this here and you can place it here okay and width and height we can also give width and height right so type is optional uh, we can remove it if you don't want you can remove it so here uh, using embed also we can play the youtube video like this we have to give the src the link and the width height so let us save this program and we can see the output and reload the page so after the google map so we'll be getting the youtube uh, uh, video is actually now it is linked and when you click it's Hi playing guys. right so we can seek and we can play and we can control this youtube video okay so that's all about how to display various media elements like image audio tag video and how to use iframe to play youtube video and google map and pdf and we are use img audio video iframe and embed tag and the output look like this so we can this is the image audio player video tag and uh, using iframe we can display video video tag video as well as pdf document and uh, youtube video google map and as well as embed tag okay so thank you all